Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to do the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is used in quadratic equations when solving for an unknown, particularly when factoring doesn't work out. So let's take a look at this quadratic. We have x squared minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. And I can see right away that this is one that is not going to work out very well if I try to factor it. So my next bet is to use the quadratic formula which is written just like this. x equals negative b plus or minus big square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Well in a quadratic I know that my a term is what's right in front of x squared, the coefficient, and I can see in this case it's 1, so a values are going to be 1, B values are going to be right here, and I can see that that's going to be negative 4. And my C value is my constant term, which is 2. So I have 2, negative 4, and 1 to work with. And simply, I'm just going to plug in each of those values into this formula. So I have x is equal to negative, negative 4, plus or minus, big square root, b squared, which is negative 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2, all over 2 times a, which is 1. And then I'm going to carry out the multiplication. Negative negative 4 is positive 4, plus or minus. Negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 2, which is 8, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. And then I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 over 2. Now I can simplify the square root of 8 by pulling out the perfect square that it has embedded in it, which is a 4. And the square root of 4 is 2, so on the outside it's going to be a 2. So 4 plus or minus 2, and what's left inside is 2 over 2. And now I can simplify this by crossing out a 2 from each one of the factors and all that's going to be left, these are both going to be 1 and this one's going to be 2. So I have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 2. And again, the plus or minus is there because a quadratic is going to yield two different answers for x. So x is either equal to 2 plus the square root of 2 or 2 minus the square root of 2. Both of these answers, if I plugged it back into our original equation, would produce a true statement. I'm Drew Moyer, and that is how to do the quadratic formula. Thank you.